free body diagram, I'm going to look at an object that's going like this. It's swinging in a circle. When I draw it on the board, it might look like a pendulum like this, but that's not what it is. Something going like this. All right, let's draw our free body diagram for this object. If I draw it up here, is there gravity? Yes. Is it sitting on a surface? No, it's not. Is something pulling on it? Yes, there's a rope attached to it. And if there's a rope, then we can assume there's tension in it, and the tension would be in the direction of the rope. So you get the angle from here and use it over here somewhere. Um, is there friction? We're ignoring friction. And uh, it's not sitting on a surface, so there's no normal force. Is it accelerating? This is accelerating towards the center of rotation of the circle. It's going like this, so the center of rotation would be here, so it's accelerating that way. If this is accelerating that way, then I make my x-axis along here and my y-axis along there, and we add up all the forces in the x-direction, so we've got to split this up into components like this. This becomes FTY, FTX. Okay? Now, I want to find the forces in the x-direction. Some of the forces in the x-direction are FTX. It's positive because positive is towards the center. There's nothing else in the x-direction, so that's going to equal MA. But again, it's going in a circle, MAC. And you know this could be replaced by uh, V squared over R, 4 pi squared, R over T squared. So this equation is going to govern the motion in the x-direction. In the y-direction, you've got, it's not accelerating the y-direction, so I can call up positive. Fty minus Fg equals zero. Why is that zero? Because it's not accelerating the y direction, so Ma is zero because there's no acceleration. So from that, I get the idea that this and this are the same, so I indicate them on the free body diagram. So this is the diagram. Uh, this is the equation that governs the y. This is the equation that governs the x. I use this, like I said in the last couple, to solve for whatever I'm looking for. This is what's important. FTX is MAC, and FTY is that. I can figure out whatever I need. I just want to point out that this problem is very similar to looking at how an airplane turns. When an airplane turns a corner, it doesn't go like this. It tips its wings, and it turns this way, like that. I've drawn an airplane on here, and you can see the way it works is, if I draw a free body diagram, there's gravity. But the airplane, in order to turn this way, needs some force towards the center over here if it's going to turn because it needs centripetal force. How does it get that? The airplane has lift. That lift, when the airplane tips, is now in this direction. The airplane's accelerating in that direction, that's positive. I have an x component to the lift this component of the lift is what's pulling the plane this way, making it turn. But what it's also doing, it means instead of the lift being straight up, this is what's up. So that means the plane has less force up, it's actually going to start to dip a little unless we reshape the wings to give it more lift. When the plane's finished its turn, it tips like this, and now the lift is this way, none of it's off-center, the plane will not turn, it'll continue in a straight line. I hope this helps.